There are many things that people try to do to shortcut the divorce process, to make it simpler, or to speed things up. One of those things is oftentimes people will try to go ahead and sell their house and divide up the money and then hire a lawyer to do the divorce. My name is Laura Hurd and I have been helping people get through divorce for 35 years in San Antonio, Texas and surrounding counties. And I can tell you that that is a really bad idea. And here's why. Actually, I can give you two good reasons why. One is whenever you are dividing up these assets, generally in any marriage, one spouse tends to be a saver and one spouse tends to be a spender. So you put your half of the money in your bank account and you save your money and at the time of divorce, three or four months later when you're in front of a judge, it turns out that you still have most of that money. Your spouse, on the other hand, has spent all of it in that short period of time and the judge tends to just look at a snapshot of what do you own right now on this day that the judge is making the decision. So the judge looks at your bank account, looks at his bank or her bank account, and says, well, you've got all the money, so they divide in half what's in your account. So what has happened? You just got a fourth of the proceeds of the house sale and your spouse got three fourths because they spent half of it and then they got half of your half. So the moral of the story is don't sell major assets and divide up the money before you go in for divorce because you don't have control over that money and when it disappears, it's gone. I do. I did. I'm done. Come see me. <laughs>